One of our favorite features in Macabacus is the way that it can auto color for us. Let's take a look up at the Macabacus section in the ribbon under settings. We're going to click configure and then go into the color section on the left. If we go to the bottom of this section, we're going to see there's this auto color area and we have all these categorizations below for things like inputs, partial inputs, formulas, and etc. We can cycle through all of these auto colors by using this auto color cycle, control alt period. Let's close out of this dialog box and give this a try. We're going to select this first column of numbers and hit control alt period and we are cycling through these auto colors so quickly. And let's just land here on blue, imagining that these are going to be inputs for Q1. Now, one of our absolute favorites is right here, auto color on entry. This is such a powerful tool. You're going to notice that there's no keystroke assigned, but we can find auto color on entry up here under Macabacus, format under color. We go right to the bottom, auto color on entry. We're going to click this. It acts as a toggle. So if we just check again really quickly, we can see that it's now on. So it means that as we enter data, it should auto color for us. Let's imagine that we've now received results for Q2. Let's go ahead and enter them in. As we're entering these numbers in, they are auto coloring for us so quickly. This is going to save us a ton of time. It doesn't matter what we're entering, formulas, partial inputs, links to external data, they're going to get automatically colored for us on entry. One thing to keep in mind, that this function will consume a little bit of the computer's processing power since it's listening for your actions and auto coloring as you make them. So we recommend only turning this on when you want to load up a particular section of a file. By default, it might be a great idea to leave it off to keep your processing speeds running very quickly. So let's go back up, format, color, and just toggle this off. This is going to save us so much time when we're loading up our files. If you're enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support, and we'll see you soon in the next video.